Hey, spiritual superstar. So spiritual warfare, what is that? And what do you do about it? Spiritual warfare is when you are under attack and you feel it on multiple levels. We're going to talk about the different ways that you feel it in this video. And we're going to talk about exactly what to do to make it stop. Okay. I'm Nicole founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where I help you master your spiritual gifts, learn all about spiritual guidance, and how to hear from divine source. So let's go right into the video. Spiritual warfare is something that I believe all of us have felt, but not all of us have recognized as spiritual warfare. When you are in the down and the dumps, when you are at the lowest of your life, when you feel like your life can't get any better, when you feel like just obstacles keep coming at you, you know, when you feel like um, every time you wake up, there's a different thing that's going to meet you and try to take your peace, that's spiritual warfare. One of the ways that I can really um, explain this to you is... Um, probably the the best way I can explain it to you is one of the things that I went through um, in college. First time I went to college, I was 18. And many of you have felt this. Many of you go through it now. I have gone through it uh, multiple times thereafter. So this is an attack when you are um, faced by jealousy and envy and you feel that attack because of the negative intentions that are coming your way well i had started being unable to wake up in my dorm room i could not wake up when i wanted to and while i was asleep i was being chased by demons i was being um attacked there was claws coming out from the dark at me and i was waking up sore like I had been in a battle I had literally been in a physical fight for my life and who would be looking at me from the other side of the dorm room the roommate well turns out after all of this stuff that I was going through I mean out-of-body experiences I could see myself from the ceiling looking down on myself and um, just all kinds of things. I was on the brink of failing, dropping out of college. She, as it turns out, was very jealous of me and my boyfriend and really had a crush on him and never told me anything. Um, there were times that I would be waking up and be in a cold sweat and I never sweat. You know, I never used to sweat. I didn't work out. And um, and so sweating and sweating in my sleep like that was extremely unusual. But I was very aware of my spiritual gifts and I knew how God talked to me. And I knew that I had my relationship with my angels and our ancestors. But I had never gone through such a, such a, such a scary um, spiritual warfare in my life before. And so uh, we did certain things and um, I'll share with you a little bit later how you can find out the, the, definitely the things that we did to um, stop it. Um, but she would be laughing at me, sitting on the other side of the bed, just laughing as soon as I would wake up. And I would ask her, um, didn't you see me struggling to wake up? And she said, yeah. Why didn't you wake me up? Because it was funny. And she would just laugh. So one way of spiritual warfare is the attack from other people that are jealous and envious of you. And spiritual superstars, there's going to be times that people are going to hate on you. And sometimes you're going to feel like, they can't. that can't be. Why would they be jealous of me? And it's going to happen. And so many times if you're a giver, if you're just that humbled, modest person that um, feels like, you know, why would anyone be jealous of you? You might not be aware of it and you might be uh, very ignorant to 
the direction that that negative energy is coming from. And when I say ignorant, I mean just not being aware and just being um, more naive and gullible that it's right there in your face and it could be a frenemy, okay? Could very well be a family member, could be a coworker, could be an in-law, could be, you know, there's so many um, scenarios there. And so um, one of the things that I had to do though, immediately um, from, this came from the elders in our family because again, um, I'm a seventh generational seer, visionary, um, shaman, and my mother knew who to contact within our bloodline. And, um, excuse me. And so they flat out uh, asked me, told me, Nicole, you need to ask her this. And while they're doing their work where they're at, um, they told me to ask her if she believed in God. And I said, I'm not going to ask her that. I'm, you know, I'm 18. And of course she believes in God. I've never met someone that looks like me and doesn't believe in God and, you know, and all that stuff. And they said, you know, you need to ask her that. And they're doing their stuff, you know, um, where they're at. And um, we're working our end. You need to do that. So, all right. When I had the out-of-body experience and seeing myself lay there on my bed and my friends come in and couldn't, I couldn't wake up. I couldn't communicate to them to please wake me up and get me out of that room. And uh, she was there and, I, and um, she literally looked up at me. And so I was paranoid. I was freaked out. I was in the fight for my life. And when I did, when I was able to get back into my body, into my human body, I ran out of that room and um, after, after I got into my human body and I asked her then, do you believe in God? And she said no and laughed. And I ran out of that room to the registrar's office and changed my room. They only had one room available and it was across the dorm hall, the hallway. And I took it. And, um, so, and I, it was one of my girlfriends, so that was really cool. And she had asked for a single room. That's what, you know, her parents and her paid for. But she was like, of course you could come in and, you know, I would love to have you as a roommate and all that stuff. So it was crazy. But as soon as I got out of that wicked space, everything stopped. Now, mind you, you're going to, you're going to feel that spiritual attack, um, even outside of the source of where the energy is coming from so like say it's a co-worker that is hating on you that's sending out that negative intentions and you're feeling it coming into you um you'll feel it at home too you'll feel it if your co-worker isn't even in that day you'll feel it if you're on vacation if you have been on sabbatical or on a leave that attack still will be coming um and so that brings me to another situation where co-worker actually she was my manager and she was very jealous of me getting um pregnant and i was on a high-risk pregnancy this was my first baby that i knew was gonna make it and you know and this was a big deal and so my doctor took me off immediately and put me on um full-time bed rest and i was like a month pregnant and um so she immediately started um doing all this weird stuff and it was really strange. I mean, really trying to fight my disability and trying to um, just load all this casework. Um, we were, I was, I was handling Fortune 500 accounts, and she was trying to put so much more on my caseload, and she was taking credit for my work and all this stuff that would have normally stressed me all the way out. And um, people started asking, you know, what is her deal? Why is she just really? Um, laying it on so thick to you what is her what is the deal between you two and I'm just like I have no idea and well so much happened that the managers literally got together um, and with the general manager and HR literally got together and it was like five of them and HR said who wants to take Jennifer um, as an employee they all were like we'll take her and um, I ended up going um, to another manager 
and um, that's how crazy it was and um, when that happened she admitted to me that she was jealous of me because she didn't think she was she would ever have any more children and when she found out that I was pregnant we were the same age that she thought well maybe she could have um, a baby too and she just said she didn't know how to how to react to that she didn't know how to treat that she didn't know how to you know feel about that and she literally said that she was really jealous of me and she ended up having a daughter um, getting pregnant getting married and having her own daughter and all that stuff so that intention that negativity stopped once I got to another department and um, and at the same time is when she admitted to me that she was jealous of me and she apologized and she bought the baby all this stuff she bought my daughter a bunch of of um, stuff from the baby shower I didn't invite her to the baby shower but she felt so overwhelmed um, with guilt that um, the, my co-worker said she just ran out and bought a ton of stuff when they were like yeah we're going you know on lunch break to get um, Jennifer some stuff for the baby for her baby shower and everything and she just ran out and when I tell you she bought the baby a whole bunch of stuff she bought the baby a whole bunch of stuff my mother was like make sure you wash it <laughs> I don't trust that. <laughs> so anyway, spiritual warfare can really knock you down, knock you on your feet, knock you flat on your back. And it can also come in fi finances, financial spiritual warfare. It can come in your attack attacks on your children. It can come in from any source of energy that is evil. So when it comes from somebody, they are being used by by and for ungodly energy there's no two ways ar around it there's no mixing of words there they are not being led by godly energy and so it's really important spiritual superstars to protect yourself and to stay armed and protected with the coat of armor which is God's mercy and God's grace you can call God Jehovah the Most High Elf and Omega spirit source there's no gender with our creator that's our own limited human language when we say him or we say her God our higher power our creator is all love so there's no gender specific there's no denomination there's no religious umbrella there is evil energy and there is godly divine energy and spiritual warfare is an attack that comes in as a psychic attack and as a metaphysical um, attack on your human body on your family it comes in as a financial attack an emotional attack a mental attack on someone's mental state and health um, there was uh, I know somebody very well that um, just spiraled after the loss of someone very dear to them and um, they just literally went off the deep end and uh, went into had a nervous breakdown had a mental breakdown and um, the look on that person's face was like whoa you know like it was way more than a mental breakdown and the stuff they were saying it was just um, they were spewing hate and just so many ungodly things it was very clear that they were not only under um, they were experiencing spiritual warfare but they were absolutely being used by uh, demonic energy and um, in my strongest opinion um, having seen that um, enough times to know the difference and having really trained and learned under my elders and my family there's no doubt about it to me and once that happens um, the best thing for you to do when you realize there's an attack coming in from a person that you know is to go in the opposite direction and to immediately whenever you feel like you're under spiritual attack or psychic attack or spiritual warfare you definitely put on the armor of the most high put on your coat of armor keep it on and so this so let's go into how you do that and um, I'll go in a couple of ways and then I'm going to refer you to a place that's going to really really help you tremendously how to uh, learn how to deal with spiritual warfare 
every single time and be able to stay protected from it because you you can notice it coming and you can stop it from coming and the first thing is you practice spiritual safety that's the number one thing that we teach over at spiritualguidanceacademy.com is spiritual safety because we don't play that cat and mouse with energy that's not of God. We don't play around with it because we don't control it, right? And so if we ever have let it control us, you get into that kind of situation, it's simply because you let your guard down. And I don't say your physical guard down, I mean your spiritual guard down. So we practice spiritual safety and a part of that is to make sure you wake up prayed up now when I say prayed up I wake up grateful that's a prayer as I say thank you for for waking me up thank you for this beautiful day thank you so much for letting me be healthy happy I, I have another beautiful day of, in front of me of unlimited untapped potential you know I've got resources at my fingertips and I start calling in my affirmations because once you open your eyes and you let the day come at you without protecting yourself and calling on our higher power then you've opened yourself up to the energies that are undoubtedly there already there's energies around you while you're sleeping so when you wake up energies are still there so we wake up we show gratitude and we ask for what god's will is we ask for thy will to be done and i promise you boom once you start doing it that thing will come to you and you'll get your spiritual guidance and you'll know what to do for that day of what that big domino is that you need to do in order to have a satisfying day now along your day you're gonna experience energy you're gonna experience obstacles things are gonna happen but also good things are going to happen blessed things are going to happen excitement adventure and just all love is going to happen also so you want to make sure you're not being blindsided right so let's say it's a financial spiritual attack or spiritual warfare um you might get an eviction notice you might get um uh on your mortgage you might you know your your balloon your mortgage might balloon um, it could be anything dealing with finances. You could get laid off. It could be a you get fired. You could get blamed for stealing something you never took. You know, whatever it is, it hits your pocket. A bill unexpectedly, you know, shows up, or your lights are getting cut off. You had no idea your your bill was a thousand dollars, or whatever it is. Um, you have to be prayed up first, right? And so that next thing when it's happening you ask for your spiritual guidance to be done please show me my spiritual guidance please show me my spiritual guidance please show me my spiritual guidance okay what do i do what do i need to do what do i need to do because in that moment you're freaked out you're freaked out whenever you are under attack and you feel it you get that hot cold feeling and you're like oh my gosh what am i supposed to do you don't react out of fear because that's that negative energy and the spirit of lack wants you to do that and you are protected you are a child of the most high you are blessed and highly favored to succeed and to prosper and prosperity follows you everywhere you go you just know you just need to know how to pull it out because it's in here it's all in your mind so you're going to see it in your mind's eye all you have to do is ask for it the next the next thing that you want to do is take action a lot of times when we're under spiritual uh, um, warfare or spiritual attack we fail to take action because that fear-based energy is very real you know I don't know anybody that doesn't feel fear I don't care how successful they are if we're human we feel fear and we're part human because you're the soul within your human but because you're the soul within your human you also know that you have a very personal private strong connection with our Creator and so now that you know that you know that that comes first and foremost and you know that you have all the resources that you need plus you are that resilient that you're going to get through this temporary block this obstacle that is spiritual warfare it cannot stop the blessings that divine source has for you it cannot it will not and that's what you must say when you take that next action based on your spiritual guidance and your spiritual guidance may be sit still and it may be the hardest thing for you to do because the one thing you want to do is go running where are you going to run to so spirit's going to tell you sit still let spirit talk to you 
Take those deep breaths in. Exhale out. You know, it's a perfect time to meditate because boom, once you still that nervous energy, that fright energy, then spirit can talk to you, right? Because now what are you doing? You're moving in faith. Now you're behaving as you are naturally a child of the most high. So that spiritual guidance is going to come in. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to know exactly what to do. When I was facing eviction, I came home one day. I had an eviction notice on my apartment door. And the first thing I did was, who saw this? Who else saw this? I was so embarrassed. And, um, and I, the, the only apartment that was there was a friend of mine. He lived, a, he lived, he, he was the only one other in that little hallway in the little foyer. And um, I just remember feeling really embarrassed. And then I went into my apartment and long story short, um, the girl was like, well, we could, we could, you could pay this, you could pay that. And it was too much for me to be paying. So I was like, okay, spirit, what do I do? Please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. And um, that was my exit out of there. That was my time to move into a better apartment. And it was because I was staying in that location far too long. And I didn't need to take the stuff that was with me. The furniture that I had belonged to someone else in the family. Energy was all up in that furniture. And um, I was like, this was like maybe my second apartment after I moved out of my parents' home. And um, so I had the opportunity to either keep all that baggage, keep all that emotional gunk, or really strike out on my own and start fresh. So spiritual superstars, I struck out on my own. I started fresh. Um, I was able to um, handle that, that um, balance with the apartment community. And it was all good. So, and they gave me a lower rate because then by the time I got ready to pay for it, um, it actually was less than the amount of the monthly rent that was due because they gave me a settlement. And don't ever forget that if you're under spirit, if you're under financial spiritual attack, ask for that settlement, you know, because people want their money. They want some of it, but guess what? They've already claimed it as a loss. All right. So. Um, you offer them what you can give them and so that you could say this to that energy and you can move forward with the spirit of prosperity and not the spirit of lack. You want the spirit of abundance, not the spirit of poverty, right? So you're already a walking millionaire. You're already a beautifully blessed, happy, married a woman or married man. You're already an amazing, wonderful mom. You're already an amazing father. You're already healthy and, and just beautiful, beautiful and blessed. You're already everything that you see right here. So always remember that when you are under spiritual warfare or psychic attack, dive deep into the word of the most high in any sacred spiritual text that you want to dive deep into but also just call on the most high you don't need to dive into a word before you can use your own words and just say i need help i need help please help me lord please help me divine source please help me and thank you so much you ask and then you be grateful. You ask and then you follow right up with gratitude. I need help. Please help me. What do I do? Please show me my spiritual guidance. And thank you so much for showing me my spiritual guidance. Oh, thank you so much. And then you get right into the praise. Oh, thank you so much because now, spiritual superstars, you are not only seeing it in your mind's eye of how you want it to come, how you want that outcome to be, you are manifesting it. You are making it happen. So just as much as that spiritual attack, that energy comes to you that's negative, that's ungodly, that's evil, as much as that divine energy, that godly energy, that beautifully blessed energy, that prosperous energy, that healing energy, the abundant energy can come to you too. So you pull it to you that being grateful, all of that gratitude and all that good energy coming to you. 
Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for my beautiful house. If you're in foreclosure, thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting it be wiped off my credit just like that. Thank you so much for giving us the house of our dreams. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving my beautifully blessed baby. Thank you so much for making sure that I was a millionaire. I feel so good. I can't hardly believe it, but it's real. It's real. I am a millionaire. And thank you so much for making me a seven-time best-selling author. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking away the pain. Thank you so much for taking away the sorrow. Thank you so much for answering our prayers. Thank you so much for bringing my children home. Thank you so much for making my baby healthy, making sure they didn't even need surgery. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I praise thy name. Thank you so much. I mean you praise, 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 praise. Praise, Spirit, Divine Source, our Creator. You open up to the universe and you let the universe send you your desired outcome by seeing it in your mind's eye and jumping into that energy. The Spirit of Transmutation is how you are going to beat spiritual warfare and the praise that you give to the most high being open to your spiritual guidance is how you're going to beat that spiritual warfare and being armed up and protected is how you're going to beat that spiritual warfare but there's some more tips that i am definitely going to share with you in our shamanic reiki certified master class so you don't want to miss this because you want to make sure that you can Stop the attack before it even begins, okay? You definitely want to avoid having any spiritual warfare come your way. You want that energy that's coming at you like a heat missile for you to be able to say, Err! and that heat missile come right here and fall down and disintegrate. That's what I'm going to teach you in our Shamanic Reiki Certified Master Class. And I can't wait to see you on the inside. I'm Nicole Henri V, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy. I help you master your spiritual gifts, learn all about spiritual guidance, and how to hear from the Most High. So I'll see you on the inside. Don't forget, get on over there and register. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Love you.